YouTube. Welcome back to the Trucker Jim channel. I'm Trucker Jim and in this video we're going to be discussing the top 10 fears of truck drivers. Now before we get started, let me take just a moment to let you guys know where this information comes from. There is a fellow YouTuber called The Flatbed Chick that compiled a survey of truck drivers tallying up all the biggest fears of us truck drivers out on the road. There's a lot of people that get very, very frightened behind the wheel of a big rig or even the thoughts of getting behind one. And, well, if you watch the news, truckers die on a regular basis. In fact, I looked up the numbers and in 2017 was a record-breaking trucker dying year. Coming in at 987 truckers losing their life while on the job. 2018 was 840 trucker deaths. 16 was 786. And 2014 had 761 truck drivers lost their lives while doing their jobs. And that's scary in itself. Do you think dying behind the wheel will be the number one fear of a truck driver? Well, let's break it down and see. Number 10 on the list is driving into a tornado. Which I guess these drivers that are out in the Midwest and Tornado Alley, this is on your mind a lot more than, say, us on the, um, the East Coast. But driving into a tornado would probably not be a fun ride. Remember this in Twister? <laughs> but I tell you, just from this truck driver, what... Now when I think about seeing a tornado, I get a little excited because I'm going to want to get it on video and show you guys. What's a bigger fear to me is it being dark at night. I'm parked. There's a big storm and a tornado coming for me. Or a tornado going through a a truck stop parking lot with trucks flying around everywhere. So I can understand why that made the list of top 10 trucker fears. Riding into a tornado or getting your truck hit by a tornado. Big fear, big fear. Number nine, top fears of a truck driver is black ice. You know guys, that ice on the road that you can't see, you hit it, you have no traction, you're sliding. <sighs> That could be scary. In a big rig that's out of control, whoo! Number eight on the list is losing good health. And I'm surprised this isn't higher on the list because this is incredibly common. You can't go to a truck stop or a shipping receiver anywhere in the country, it doesn't seem like, without seeing a trucker who is overweight. I mean, it's happened to us all. It happened to me too. But the combination of low activity, eating garbage food, sugary snacks, all of that over time, especially over the course of a few years, can definitely take its toll on the body. If you're a smoker, as a smoker, I can only imagine it's probably a two pack, maybe even a three pack a day habit with all that time on the road. But the good news on good health is you have you have something to do, say about that, truck drivers. You have some control over your health. One thing that I did, and I know a lot of truckers are having a lot of success, is change our diet around, doing something similar to the keto diet versus just eating McDonald's fries and sodas. Cutting those carbs will make a big difference on at least your belly fat and your weight gain. The number seven top 10 fears for truckers on our list is have an emergency at home and not being able to get home. Whether it's a baby being born, someone that has a medical condition, that you need to be at home, and you're 2,000 miles away. That's a big fear of our truckers because I know all of us have people in our lives that, that matter to us, that, that care about us, and when things happen, we want to be there. But as a trucker, this can be a problem, whether there's weather in between you, thousands of miles in between you, or a dispatch that's just a dick. Number six on the list is definitely understandable why it made our list of top trucker fears. 
and that'd be dying in the truck. And this happens more often than we would like to think, whether it's heart attacks or other medical conditions, a driver's back in the sleeper all by theirself and pass away. And they could be states away. But the dying in the truck, and I don't mean to be insensitive if some of you have, you know, have had loved ones or friends that this has happened to, but this has been a big fear of mine. I got really sick one time in the truck and was bleeding internally and barely made it to the hospital. And by the time I did make it to the hospital, I lost all color in my skin. I could barely stand. I was super weak. So this is one that's always been a fear for, for me personally is dying in the truck, being all alone, back in the sleeper, getting too weak. You can't get out of the truck passing away and then you're I, I'm not gonna go over what happens to the body when you pass away but number five on the list all of us truck drivers has thought about this when we're going down mountains or heard stories but losing your brakes whoo that could definitely be a scare when barreling down a mountain a six seven degree slope at 70 miles an hour with no brakes I can understand why that made our list. If anyone has any stories of that happening to you or uh, anyone you know, please feel free to share those stories down in the comments below. But losing your brakes, you know that's gonna make the list of trucker fears. Which brings us to number four, having your truck on fire and being trapped. Oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. That is another scary thought right there, guys. Being caught in your truck, it's on fire, you can't get out. Well, if you're ever in that situation, find a way out. You don't want to get burned alive. Now, number three is a little surprising, but then again, it's not. Open way station signs. I mean, if you're legal and you're good, you shouldn't be worried, right? But we all get a little increase of the heart rate when we see the, the open signs at the waste stations. That's not as bad as the other things on this list. Well, unless you get a big old ticket. But they're not as... The consequences of those tickets cannot even compare to some of the other things on the list. So let's move on to number two. Number two on our list is... Getting too old to drive, getting too old or unhealthy to drive, which is kind of similar to one earlier in the list as far as getting unhealthy. But you know, with your eyesight and all the medical exams for your med cards, you've got to keep that stuff up. And for all of us, there is eventually going to come a day where we got to hang up the keys. That is 10 through 2 on the top 10 trucker fears. We've got driving into a tornado. We've got black ice. We've got losing good health. Emergency at home and can't get there. Number six, dying in the truck. Losing brakes. Number four, truck on fire and trapped inside. Number three, way station open signs. Number two, getting old and unhealthy. But before we reveal the number one fear of truck drivers, let's mention a couple of honorable mentions that did not quite make the list. Being blown over. Ooh, that would be a fear as well, or just the topping over. I've never experienced this and I hope I don't, but that force of a cab turning over and smacking the ground. I know with me, with all my stuff in the truck, Things are going to be flying everywhere, and that would not be a good day, people. But we also have have a heart attack while driving. Freezing to death in, in the truck almost made the list as an honorable mention. If you're going up into extremely cold environments, keep that possibility in mind, guys. Have some blankets. Don't let your fuel get too low so you can't idle. But freezing to death in a truck would not be a good way to go. It is time to reveal the number one fear of truck drivers. And that's being in an accident and hurting someone. Whether it's your fault or not, the thought of severely injuring or killing someone else with your truck 
I think that's definitely at the top of all of our list. But everyone, thanks a lot for watching. Want to give another thanks out to the Flatbed Chick. She's got a video on her channel going over this same information. I guess I'm just copying the Flatbed Chick. But everyone, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. But until then, be safe out there, and keep on trucking. Everybody going through